Hey EDU 533 students, I'm Erica and I'm one of the librarians at Jenks Library. I'm here to help you think about how you can find scholarly articles for your next topics within the class Foundations of Reading. You're going to be exploring articles within the topic area of vocabulary, fluency, and comprehension. In the previous video that you have access to, Finding and Searching Library Databases, which I highly encourage you to watch if you haven't already, you learned how to select databases at Jenks Library, where those are located from our homepage, and also how to construct a search string when you're trying to find information on a particular topic. This video is going to walk you through a few specific things about the topics that you have upcoming in this class and some nuances to searching that I hope to help you out with. Let's head over to our library homepage so I can and show you um, some of the tricks that I often use when looking for articles for your upcoming topics. All right, so now we are on the library homepage, and this should hopefully look familiar to you. To get to our library homepage, go to www.gordon.edu slash library. And remember that all research within Jenks Library begins and ends on our library homepage. So a quick review. To find our library databases, head to the search the library section, click on the databases tab, and then click on this link to view all databases. This pulls up a list of all of the major databases that we have access to at Jenks Library. The one that I would highly recommend all of you beginning with is our ERIC database, which is an education specific resource. So I'm going to head to E, and then I'm going to click on ERIC in this list. In the previous video, you learned that you can select other databases to pull into your search. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Choose Databases. And to help me out today, I'm going to pull in our second education database, which is called Professional Development Collection, so that we can cross search those two at the same time. And go ahead and click OK. So your previous topics about phonemic awareness and phonics those were pretty specific topics, but now you've been given topics that are in the category of vocabulary, fluency, and comprehension. And as you can start to imagine, the topic of in any of these categories, we'll take vocabulary as an example, are pretty big. If we were to type in just vocabulary into our search box, select our peer-reviewed limiter, this is important to make sure you're only getting peer-reviewed information, and go ahead and click search. Even though we are scoped to two databases that are specifically focused in on education, we get way too many results to just use the term vocabulary. So what do we do? This is your opportunity to stack on some potential keywords to your search to help you narrow this down a little bit. Common ways in which you might narrow down your research for this particular assignment is to focus in on what you already know you're interested in. This might be a particular grade level or school level. It might be a particular age group of student that you're focusing on, or it might be a particular strategy to reading or uh, teaching that you already know about that you're interested in exploring more. All those concepts can become keywords that you can add to your search results. So we are gonna keep vocabulary in our top search box here, and we're going to add another one. We're gonna say, we wanna talk about vocabulary in terms of early childhood only. And then let's add in one final keyword down here and let's say we're going to talk about vocabulary in terms of reading. You could get much more specific with this. Exactly what do I mean by reading here? Do I mean reading comprehension? Do I mean uh, reading how it helps develop someone's vocabulary? There's a lot of different avenues that we can go with this and use what you're learning in your class to help you decide what keywords you're actually going to enter into these fields. But we'll start with this for now. So now let's go ahead and click search again and notice how our results changed. We dropped from over 100,000 results to almost 2,000 results. And now we're starting to see hopefully get, we're getting a little bit more specific articles that maybe we can actually start to look through and see am I interested in any of these to select for my potential article. One last recommendation that I will give you when you're searching within these particular topics to help you narrow it down, you can actually decide where in your search results do you actually want these keywords to appear. So let's say that this term vocabulary was a particularly important concept for us. We can say in this little select a field drop down, I want my keyword vocabulary to appear only in the title of the articles that I'm looking at. So in this case, it's going to appear in these blue links here. These are the titles of the articles. So now let's go ahead and click search one more time and notice again how our results change. We went from almost 2000 down to 500. 
So those are just a couple of ideas for how you can choose to narrow. Stack on keywords with areas of interest and also decide which of your keywords are most important to potentially narrow it down to the title. So work with these search tricks and hopefully by the end of this, you'll return a set of results with articles that you're genuinely interested in reading, exploring for your potential topics. And if you have any questions, feel free to talk to me.